Hello YouTube, this is Mayan J and today I'm going to be showing you a, of a new ROM that I have modified. Uh, this ROM of course originally uh, came from a, from a Chinese website that I was able to download it from and from there I updated the latest uh, ROM that came for the Gu phone i5. Uh, this phone uh, as you can see has the two sensors so there we can tell that this is the actual Gu phone i5. Okay. Um, First thing that uh, I'm just going to mention a couple things that I fixed on this phone uh, that had problems before with the previous ROMs. Uh, one of them is that uh, I installed the Play Store. Okay. Uh, second, it comes with uh, it comes rooted already. Uh, third, it fixes the Google Contact uh, synchronization. Also fixes the calendar synchronization. Uh, it fixes the notification bar okay from what you can see right here is different now it gives you the uh, the settings toggle as well okay let me just try to focus this for you okay and um, this phone as again as I mentioned it gives you the uh, the contact sync so now you're able to con sync your uh, your contacts by just going if you go to settings and then you go to iCloud there you're gonna see that it's gonna give you the option you gotta click on your actual email let me just go in but I gotta block my email address okay so here we have it the account you click on it okay and here we have the sync calendar you just gotta check them each one and that will actually um, synchronize your uh, your contacts okay um, I have also uh, modified the weather application. It has a small bug where it's not centralized, but it does the job. Okay, as you can see right here. Let me try to focus this. Okay, um, this also installs YouTube as well. Okay, and here from Intuitive Tester, I have named uh, this ROM just so you can see that it's been modified. System info. And as you can see from the very bottom, it says My J Modded ROM 0123. Okay, and um, I'm also going to give you this was the latest score that I got when I did the um, Tutu test. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, let me see if I forgot to mention anything else. Uh, also, it improves the uh, Wi Fi signal slightly better and it gives you a little faster UI okay so I mean for the most part this ROM came out to be pretty good um, you know this is a great ROM for you to start with especially since it installs the Play Store and it fixes all the contact problem and all that good stuff okay and then uh, for the most part everything is almost the same okay and um, let's see here oh I just left this just for fun uh, it's not in English, unfortunately, but it's a Siri look-alike um, voice search. So it goes like this. Hello. So you can see it's in Chinese. That's the only inconvenience for now. But I just left it there, you know, uh, just so you can play with it a little bit. Um, it also has the Google Maps. With the GPS, once again, the GPS doesn't lock right away. It still needs improvement. Um, however, this phone has the capability of improvement. Okay, here we have the uh, the YouTube application. As you can see, here are the videos. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have here. And uh, of course, the notification center. Now it's more like like the iOS is faster and easy to use and you can actually kill the task by hitting that X that you saw I pressed um, that's uh, pretty much what I'm gonna go through Did you, you gotta try it so you can notice you know the difference uh, on this ROM and um, of course I'm gonna show you how to install it first you must follow my steps on how to install the recovery image that's the first step once you do that you're gonna um, sorry once you do that, then you're going to connect your phone onto your computer, of course. Okay. And the next thing you're going to do 
is you're going to download um, my uh, ROM, my modified ROM. Okay, you're going to place it on, the, on your desktop. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to turn on USB storage. This is another update also. It gives you the iOS lookalike uh, USB storage connection. Okay, and then just to be sure, you're going to send these two to each partition of your SD card. So you're going to select send to and you're going to select G and H or whatever it may be. I already have it, so I'm just going to hit copy replace. And of course, I already have it on my other one. So I'm not going to do it again. There we go. So you have the idea. Once you download them to both SD cards, um, now you're going to turn off USB storage. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is unplug the cable. Now we're going to turn off the phone. Okay. Now you're going to hold and press the minus button together with the power button okay you're gonna hold them both and press them there we go okay so here we have the recovery image now you may ask yourself this is an unusual type of recovery image but it's actually very simple to follow okay um, the first thing we have here on top this is so you can clear your cache and you can clear your data okay so first thing we're gonna do is click on this one and now from the very bottom, you're going to slide it from the very from the very bottom of the screen. Sometimes you got to try it several times. There we go. Now we have clear cache. You're going to select OK. Now we're going to clear the data. OK. There we go. Now you're going to select that square uh, green square now you're gonna go here to where it says back now we're gonna go to the upper left and from here we're gonna select the rum you're gonna scroll down you're gonna continue scrolling down until you see the rum okay you're gonna select the course where it says my and J and you're gonna make sure that it says that you have selected the right one you're not gonna select anything else now you're gonna slide it and it's going to install the ROM. You're going to start seeing the status bar turning blue. Okay, let's just wait until it's complete. There we go. So once it's completed, now what you're going to do is you're going to select this option right here. This is basically it's called a uh, reboot that's the translation of that I guess okay so now the phone is going to reboot there we go don't, <clears throat> don't panic it takes about another two minutes to boot up there we go it has successfully booted up okay now what you are going to see is that um, well here it surprised me because the applications are in uh, in English already but what you do is in case that the phone boots up in Chinese language you go to settings of course you go to general and then you scroll down to where it says international and then you're gonna uh, select language and then you choose your own language okay this is all the language that are available currently on this ROM okay and this is how you set it up now this right here a lot of people have been asking me what can you do with that if you long press it it'll hide that simple okay you can choose to uninstall it but I really don't recommend it just hide it and that'll be much easier okay well thanks for watching uh, please let me know if you have any questions subscribe for more and uh, the next phone I'm reviewing and of course developing on is gonna be the zoo phone i5 it's already on its way. Um, just stay tuned, subscribe, and thanks for watching.